Whether you're on a quest to recruit a new knight or trying to unlock a special character, there's a great feeling knowing that there's more to a game than the original lineup of starting protagonists. After all, nothing spices up a skating game like a Sith Lord, and nothing makes a survival horror game more intense than playing as a piece of food, right? Here are the best unlockable characters in games and how to get them. Reptile Mortal Kombat there's no better way to start talking about secret characters than with Reptile. He was literally the first unlockable boss character in fighting game history. The Master of the Pit has appeared in all the Mortal Kombat games since, alternating between a human form in green garb and full-on lizard man. All you had to do was win with a double flawless victory without blocking and finish the fight with a fatality, all while playing while a flying object, Santo or Witches, are flying past the moon on the pit stage. Tofu Resident Evil 2 so, you're playing Resident Evil 2. You could play as Claire Redfield or Leon Kennedy and enjoy the thrill of narrowly escaping death at the hands of zombies. Or, you could play as a floppy, larger-than-life block of tofu. It's an easy choice. He was originally just meant to test the game's collision physics, but Capcom wisely made him playable, starting with just a knife and a few herbs. Sure, he can take more damage than other characters, but that doesn't save him from being eaten by fellow operative Hunk at the end of the game. Finish all parts of the game with an A ranking, and he's yours. Mewtwo – Super Smash Bros. Melee Oddly enough, Mewtwo isn't considered a good fighter in the Smash Bros. series, but it's his status of being the only playable legendary Pokémon that makes him, well, legendary. Originally meant for Smash on Nintendo 64, Mewtwo didn't make the cut until Melee on the GameCube. And when he finally made it there, you had to play Versus mode for 20 hours or play 700 matches in the mode to unlock him. After fan outrage of not being included in Brawl, those same fans freaked the hell out, in a good way, when he was announced as DLC for the Wii U and 3DS versions. Donkey Kong Punch Out the NES version had Mike Tyson, so Nintendo knew it needed another celebrity final boss for its Wii revival. Even better, you can spot DK in the audience in multiple Punch-Out games to date. To get him, you'll have to finish Title Defense, which then unlocks Last Stand mode. Once here, DK should be the second competitor you meet. However, the Red Tide tank can take you down with pretty much any attack, arguably making him the most difficult fight in Punch-Out. But win or lose, he'll be playable in Exhibition mode. Luigi – Super Mario Galaxy Poor Luigi, always living in his brother's shadow. In Super Mario Galaxy, he gets literally lost in space and is then taken prisoner at some point. Mario has to rescue him from the ghostly galaxy, at which point the Green Brother will assist in collecting three stars. A total of 120 stars and a Bowser fight later, and you can actually play as the other brother. Luigi runs faster and jumps farther, and his cosmic form is smarter than Mario's. The weirdest part is Luigi can also rescue Luigi from the ghostly galaxy, although his imprisoned twin looks a little off, but at least he has his own mansion. Darth Maul, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Tony Hawk, Bam Margera, Bob Burnquist. These are real, professional skaters. So who better to join them on the halfpipe than Star Wars is totally out of Lucas's head Darth Maul? Because of course, kickflips and grinds have only made cooler with a double-ended lightsaber in hand. What's extra cool is when you select Darth Maul inside the skate shop, the shopkeeper will actually be choking from the force in the background. So how do you unlock our Sith friend? It's a simple matter of completing all the game's goals and getting every gold medal as Tony Hawk. But if that all sounds too much, just use the cheat code YOHOMIES instead. Dante – Beautiful Joe Beautiful Joe was created by the same man behind Devil May Cry, so this cameo at least makes sense. Sadly, Dante is nothing more than a new skin for Joe. The story plays the same, just with a different model and scrambled audio. Even so, the slow-mo VFX attacks like slow-mo and close-up feel extra stylish with Dante. Finish the game and you can play through again as the white-haired half-demon. Gogo – Final Fantasy VI Yep, Gogo the mime can be recruited in Final Fantasy VI, and he, or she, is full of mystery. Found only after the destruction of the world, and dressed in what appear to be pieces of other characters' clothing, Gogo may even be a reincarnation of the famed mimic Gogo boss in Final Fantasy V. Weirder still, they only speak when first meeting the party. So how do you initiate this meeting? Just let yourself get swallowed whole by a Zone Eater on Triangle Island. Inside one of these beasts is a whole dungeon full of rare items and Gogo. Hideo Kojima, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker It's nothing new for Kojima to insert real people into his Metal Gear games. Thing is, they're usually in portrait form or something just as minor. 
but in Peace Walker, Kojima upped his game by including several members of his voice cast and even himself as recruitable soldiers. Simply select a truck in the crater base garage with the license plate Central America 63824P Sentinel and he's all yours. Funnily enough, you can actually fire and rehire Kojima as much as you want since it's so easy to recruit him. There's probably something to say about his relationship with Konami here, but we're going to leave it. And those are the best unlockable characters in games and how to get them. But of course, there are others. Did you know Colonel Sanders, yeah, the chicken man, was in Fantasy Star Portable 2 Infinity? It was something to do with it being the 40th anniversary of KFC, which just happened to coincide with the launch of the game. But anyway, if you have any other suggestions for this list, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on Game Trader Plus.